Okay, so I'm well into the process of insulating the roof at the moment. Um, we've opted for XPS insulation, which is um, it's, it's a, little, a bit more expensive than polystyrene, um, and I think it might be a little bit more than Kingspan. Um, it has a very high um, weight resistance. Um, I think that's probably not the right word, but that's, you probably know what I mean. Um, it's not really required in this situation, um, but what this insulation is good for is um, it's got a very very low U value um, and it's very strong so when you're cutting loads of bits out of it to to fit into these awkward spaces it, it retains its strength um, whereas polystyrene would just fall apart in in that situation um, so it's quite it's been quite good to work with um, I've been cutting it as best as I can to fit around all these lumps and bumps in the roof and to fill the gaps as much as possible um, I don't think you'll ever get it perfect um, but what I have been doing is just filling gaps with expanding foam as I go yeah. um, and then I've been propping it with, with these and some plywood um, just to keep the shape um, because what I've done here is because you've got the curve I've cut it into three pieces to try and follow the curve as best as possible um, and then I just prop the whole lot with, um, with a piece of ply there and it just, just holds it until the glue goes off. Um, this stuff adheres very well like the, the glue once this glue's gone off you, you're literally not pulling these boards off so um, that makes a good basis uh, to, to probably adhere the ceiling to I, I won't I won't rely just on glue for the ceiling I'll, I will have the walls holding it and things as well because obviously as you're driving and things are moving over time you don't want that ceiling coming loose and falling down um, but it's good to ha it's good to have it held in as many ways as possible um, in a van I'll show you what I've done here so you can see underneath, you've got the la the array of XPS insulation running through, um, which kind of vol follows the lines, the, the roof of the van very well, because I cut it in multiple places. Um, but what, then what I'm doing after that is floating 25 millimeter polystyrene straight over the top of both. Um, and because it's not perfectly level, I can't, I can't just glue it and push it hard up to the layer below. So what I've done is actually use glue in places that the polystyrene is can touch directly and in other places where there are slight gaps I'm filling it with construction foam which is um, it's an adhesive basically um, and that will fill the voids and also stick it to the layer above and so once it's gone has gone off it will be a really good fixing and it should be quite a nice curve following all the shape of the van and everything What I've done on, on here is uh, marked out where the, the polystyrene makes the best contact with the roof because the roof's not perfectly flat and so there's no point putting glue everywhere, it just won't, it won't contact the roof. So yeah, I've just drawn a couple of lines of where to put it um, and then I'll, I'll also do a line of expanding foam along this edge because there is no close contact there and that will act as an adhesive and also um, a gap filler and extra insulation.
that's now ready to be lifted. Um, but before I do that, there's just some small gaps along, along here that I want to also fill up with foam. You'll also notice that I've put some red oxide primer here. This is just, there was a couple of spots where it was down to bare metal, previous scratches on the van. So I've just made sure they're protected because there will be extra humidity in here when we're living inside. So you don't want that rusting through eventually through the roof. It would take many, many years, but it could happen. Uh, so that's all ready to go now. I'm gonna lift this one up. Also, I was going to say, whenever you're working with expanded foam, always have a wipe such as this handy because it's the only thing that gets it off. Um, it's a real nightmare when it falls onto the floor or something or your hands. So you'll go through loads of these. And don't be like me and don't wear gloves because once it gets on your hands, red oxide, even these, um, the red oxide paint, so it, 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 even these won't get it off. So I'm kind of stuck with red fingers for a few days now. I'm just going to prop this up while, it, while the glue goes off to make sure it doesn't fall down. Don't prop it too hard because you don't want to distort the, the roof of the van, just enough to make sure there's good pressure on it all the way around. Um, now that's done, I will just fill the gaps around it, which will add insulation and also extra grip. something quite enjoyable about gap filling. Okay, another one done. So while I'm waiting for these, the ceiling to dry with the props on it, um, I'm gonna have a look at this niche. We bought this niche the other day, and the plan is to put it somewhere. Well, I've already marked it up, but I'm thinking here. Um, just to make use of the, the space behind the panel, give us a bit more storage. Um, and also just create a little bit more space in the bathroom, a little bit of elbow, elbow space. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mark this up properly now and then cut it out with a multi-tool.
welcome back everyone um so i've got so far we i've got most of the way with the roof insulation and um, i'm going to pause for the moment because tomorrow our solar panels arrive after i think it's like a three week delay um so it did it did hold up certain things the solar delay but we've been carrying on with other bits and pieces meanwhile to try and keep things moving um but i think it's a good time to stop with the roof insulation because there will be um well, once the solar panels are installed i will need to choose a location to drill through for the cables somewhere at the back of the roof of the van um, which i haven't yet insulated so and also there's a there's a sunroof to cut in as well so um another thing that we're waiting to do but we didn't we didn't want to put the sunroof in until the solar was in because the solar the solar panels are huge we've got we've got 800 watts going in and uh, it's going to take up a large chunk of the roof so we've just got to make sure that everything fits really well once we place it on there so for that reason we're just holding holding up for the minute um so after discussing further about our fridge location we've actually decided to to put it up here at, at, um, at a raised level originally it was going to go down on the floor here um but we decided that we want to keep the units along this side as, as slim as possible um just to have more width um, sp uh, space between sort of the kitchen units and the wardrobe units to make it easier to pass each other and just make it feel a little bit less claustrophobic so we thought we might as well make use of this this um, this area here that m normally you would just fill up with insulation but because we've still got some leftover aerogel insulation what we're going to do is um, build a platform from here to mount the fridge on um, and it fits within this space um, and, it, and if it's back against this edge here it doesn't project that far into the into the um, van so it's, it's a really good place to put it um, and we can drill through a hole somewhere here for the ventilation for the back of the fridge just to try and remove the heat that's created by the fridge because you really don't want that on top of all the heat that you're getting from being in sunny climates and things so we are going to put some kind of um, fan in there that's putting out that warm air. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm going to be doing now is um, putting the insulation in this area and creating a wall and a platform um, for this fridge to be sitting. Look at this mess. Well, that glue should have gone off by now, so I can remove these these props and uh, carry on with the boarding and maybe some insulating. The solar's hopefully going to arrive today, so that's the job that I'd like to get on to if possible. Mm -hmm. 